previously on Dungeons and Dragons. Six suits of ornate plate mail stand in this area as if on guard. I'm first. I'm second. I'm last. As you get about 10 feet into this room, Nulara, as you get about five feet into this room, the first two suits of armor to your left and right spring to action and strike out at you. No. 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 It fills the armor with this crackling energy but then explodes it outwards. And flying from it, you see a bloodstone that bounces off the wall and towards the exit. And you are in a room of even more mayhem and chaos. Okay, what's next, guys? As you begin to examine the room again, the shadows start slowly rotating until they shrink into the gnomon. We can put all the gems on the sundial. You reach at the exact same time, and your precision is accurate, and they all fall through and disappear. Podcast over. Bye, guys. Well? <laughs> really? You don't think there's a portal that they just went through? Try to, I stand on the nomad. Thea disappears. Flint crawls in and everybody falls harmlessly back into the sundial room where the shadows are pointed at every single exit. The curving path you follow suddenly twists to reveal a proper maze. You hear the pounding of hooves is a massive stone gorgon. I really hope that we never figure out DNA. Me too, it's more I fun. like the way we do it. I like the way we do it too. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. We are a D&D 5th edition actual play podcast and I'm your dungeon master Russ Moore and with me today is Amy Moore. I have a pink fuzzy robe on and I play Thea Amastasia. And also sporting nightwear attire, maybe Carla Johnson. I am not sporting nightwear attire, but I did literally say to Amy when we got on this call, you're wearing the robe. I missed it so much. The robe was like one of our original players when we started playing around the table. <laughs> uh, also, I play new Lara Moonbrook. And Tom Laird. And I am wearing my Queens of the Stone Age concert tee from when I saw them back in January. And I play Flint Firebeard. Russ, what are you wearing? Uh, I am wearing an Avengers Infinity War Thanos t-shirt. It's a little too intimidating. I meant to it's say something like the Thanos harsh. on it is aggressive. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's good. <laughs> like, yeah, I he's... don't like it. No. I... <laughs> I do, I, she doesn't like it. <laughs> I wear it's, it Go to change your shirt, Russ. A lot. It's upsetting, Carla. And I've had numerous people say I am offended by that shirt <laughs> oh, as wow. I walk through the door. Okay. So... I mean... That's right. He doesn't care. I don't he care. He is a real troublemaker. That's me. That's me. Um, yeah. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is the podcast, and we're going to jump right in to the podcast. But first, a message from us. <laughs> we love the podcast. You. We love you. R E the podcast. <laughs> we noticed that you've been listening, and we appreciate you. Oh, we do appreciate you. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. Definitely. It's like a little PSA. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just nice to throw it back just a little bit. Yeah. You know. Also, you look great today. Yeah. Oh, oh you, you really do. You look real good. Okay, now pause Fishy. for response. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Um, where I was kind of going with this is we're on Patreon. <laughs> wow. Wow. Big that is, so, yeah, that's, whew, I don't know how I was going to get there. It's a 90 um, degree turn. <laughs> yeah. And when you're on Patreon, you get a random episode dedicated to you. And today, this episode is dedicated to Katharina Sindelar. Sorry Thanks, if I pronounced your name wrong. Yeah, Katharina, you're awesome. You rock. Also, if it's Katarina, we apologize. Oh, 100% we apologize. 100%. Yeah. But there's a TH in there, so I feel pretty confident maybe Katharina. Could have gone, could have gone either way. Yeah. It's a cool name. It's very melodic. I'm deeply into it. Mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash Dumb Dragon Cast. Go check it out uh, if you're interested in supporting us uh, just a little bit more. But, I mean, if you just got to listen, that's totally cool, too. Yeah, um, something that you can do if you're just listening and would be totally awesome, you could rate and review us on iTunes. Oh, that'd be cool. That is always appreciative. And Those share, make my day. Share us with your friends, yeah. When, when there's, like, mm -hmm. actual reviews. Um, we're also on Facebook. We have a group over there, and they're doing some super fun things. Like, we just put up a post to uh, to aggregate all of the songs we reference in the podcast, so we can create a Spotify list of all the songs that we try to rip off. Yeah, so if, you, if you're listening and you hear one, remember, just throw it on in there to the Facebook group. 
Let's make a big list. Let's not make it any one person's job. You know, that's a lot of homework. Well, there's a couple yeah. people contributing to it right now. I think Jonathan's gone and Sarah Sarah's gone. And Wasn't it Kat's idea? She got to be in there. Kat, get in there. And we also have a fan <laughs> art contest continuing to go on until the end of September. Yeah. So where we want to give you custom t-shirts. And it's going to be great. And now we're going to stop talking. Fuck it. Let's play D&D. You're still stuck in a maze. Yeah, we yeah, are. We are. Boy, Why are we so happy about that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've We're just still accepted in there. it. I've just yeah. accepted it. This you is know where what? we live now. This is our life. It's fine. Guys, it can't be. I need to find guacamole. You're right. And there are people wondering about her. Oh, there's a lot of people wondering about guac, but I'm, yeah, fair, there's I'm like very confident find guac. that we are going to hashtag find guac. That's yeah. right. So you uh, currently find yourself in perhaps another maze after you went down a pathway and you ended up in uh, what appears to be a more different type of maze, perhaps even a bit more real. <laughs> That's the Queen's English, by the way. More, more different. More mazy sort of style a maze, more I believe. More mazy maze. Yeah, like maybe it's a corn maze. Maybe oh, it's maybe. Maybelline. That's whimsical, right? Maybe sure. just on the other side, we hear like It'll children be a pumpkin patch. pony riding, and there's, mm-hmm. yeah, people picking mm-hmm. pumpkins. Sure. Mm-hmm. To make right? pumpkin spice lattes out of. Which are now available as of yesterday. Starbucks, get on board. Uh, Sponsor this podcast. Three weeks ago as of this recording. As this recording is released. Oh, three weeks ago. The pumpkin spice. (laughs) (laughs) We're right on top of it. Never mind. It's more seasonally appropriate for us to be talking about such autumnal things when this episode actually comes out. So well done, us. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, us. Screw you, Starbucks. Whoa, no, we whoa. want them on board, whoa. Russ. Unless you want to sponsor this podcast, <laughs> Unless, then we're into it. Is this like when you were going to badmouth Google the other night? Come on, Russ. Get it yeah. together. Come on. All these all these could be potential sponsors of ours, because yes. I'm sure Starbucks sponsors. I'm 100% again, the podcast sure. Game. Mediocre D&D Google podcast. Industries and Starbucks <laughs> are looking for us. If you are, give me a call. Uh, 555 <laughs> That's Russ. Five, 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 Russ. Russ. There's the just thing that people five, need to pound, understand. Five, five, five. There's like a far fewer people in Canada, so our numbers mm. are only three numbers. That's true. Our phone yeah. numbers. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. That's Russ number. got five five five. And it's really? on rotary too. So mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Our phone is on the wall in the kitchen as we speak. Mm-hmm. There are cell phones, but they're the eighties Zach Morris brick cell phones. <laughs> exactly. We really just use them to throw at each other when we're angry. But that doesn't ever happen because this is Canada. Let's face it. Very genteel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're in a Uh, maze. So, yeah, the curving path you follow suddenly twists to reveal a proper maze cut out of the surrounding hedges. Moments later, the pounding of hooves rings out and a gorgon charges out of the greenery towards you. Roll for initiative. Does it smell like gorgonzola? Nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm here all day. I got a 20. Uh, 23, I think. Seven. <laughs> Sorry, 27, Amy? That's very good. <laughs> right? No, it was just a seven. Isn't Gorgon from Trolls? No, not Trolls. Sorry. Smurfs. That's Gargamel. That is Gargamel. Isn't a is Gargamel. isn't a Gorgon like Medusa and her cronies? Aren't they Gorgons? I believe uh, so. Uh, I believe Gorgon so. in this case. Yeah, I'm talking real world Greek mythology here, Russ. Bull. Yeah. Stone bull. A stone yes, bull. Yes, that does sound. Yes. Well, that's just confusing when we're talking about myths. They can't. They can't just take a name of a thing and make it the name of another thing. That's true. That's not allowed. I mean, I guess it is. Wizards of the coast. Way to be confusing. <laughs> Uh, so no, n- bleh, bleh, bleh. New Lara, oh, you're wow. up first. <laughs> I'm going to go first. Is that what yeah, you were saying? That's what I said. Yeah, New, La- New Lara, you are up first. How far is uh, old Mr. Gorgon from us? The Gorgon has just come out of the greenery. Okay. And he is now 25 feet charging towards you and your friends who are standing in the middle of a maze. There is an opening to your right as you look at the Gorgon and an opening behind you and to your left. Well, I'm just going to try and stab it. I know it's really big and muscular and looks like it's got some kind of armor on it, but I'm pretty irritated and would like to get out of this maze. So whether by success or death, I care not. Okay, so you're rushing <laughs> forward, charging at the Gorgon. Yep. All right. Roll <laughs> it up. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> well, that was only a 14, so that probably didn't do anything. Uh, nope. It's okay. I'll try again. Okay. Well, that was a 13, so that probably <laughs> didn't do anything either. I'm just going to, like, yeah, I'm going to scooch. A little sachet. Sco- no scooch. scooch. Have so you, you seen that gif of, um, and it was also in the show, of Homer Simpson just, like, into the yeah. into the shrub into the hedge. Into the hedge. Yeah, I'm just gonna do one doing. of those moves. Sure, I get that. Okay. Um, so yeah, you charge forward 25 feet, swinging, um, and uh, I mean it's it's we'll say it's glancing off of its horns, but you don't connect solid and sidestep off, allowing it to continue charging forward just to a lot your of friends. Shing shing noises. Okay. Yeah. Well, Donnie's gonna try. He's gonna yeah. at first try to recharge the old breath weapon. Yep didn't work so he is probably going to sure he's going to try and bite this charging bull because why wouldn't he why wouldn't he you guys he's worried about um guac too they're best friends you know uh that is a 16 uh 16 will not hit okay well he's going to try and recharge his breath weapon again and it didn't work again so he's going to try and bite again and he doesn't, because he got a 10. <laughs> We're off to a roaring whole lot start. Of nothing so good. I'm going to swap out my dice. Donnie leaps and flies just above, not too high, because he's worried about the guac syndrome, and hovers above the bull that's charging towards you and takes a couple bites at its back, but misses. And the Gorgon continues forward. I feel like he down. flies above it and just is like that's nah, and just licks yeah. down the Gorgon's <laughs> back. <laughs> And just as he's about to reach the group, lets forth a giant green plume that goes 30 feet out in front of it, encompassing Flint, Thea, Thaddeus, and Flamikins, who all have to make a constitution saving throw. Yes, you have to make the constitution saving throw. Everyone has questions about poison. It's not poison. I I know, that's (gasps) why you were confirming they had to do it, right? I crit failed! (gasps) Oh, that is... Not great, Amy. Uh, Flint got a 19. Thaddeus got an 18. I rolled with a different dice for Flamikins. It's an 18 for her. Whew. I know, I just swapped all my dice. Three of you are fine, and you just, you just, this cloud comes up and over you. Thea, however, we'll get to that in a second. The bull, as it releases this gas, continues charging forward, moving to Gore Flint, as he I is the now. first one in the way Gorgon. with a 21 to hit oh yeah so that's 15 piercing damage and you must make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone as it is in a trampling charge okay so i'm gonna take 12 hit points because yep. i can lower these things by three due to my yep. heavy armor master skill strength throw that's a 19 plus four so 23 you are not knocked prone Prone. Suck it, Gorgon. <laughs> and then as you are gored and kind of knocked to the side, the, the cloud settles and you see a stone figure and Thea is what's called petrified. <gasps> oh no, just like a basilisk does. So you can, at the end of your next turn, you can make another saving throw and on a success you are no longer petrified. On a failure, the target is petrified until freed by a greater restoration spell or other magic. Shit. Next up, in rotation, Flamikins. Russ is bringing out the uh, big guns as far as side effects for us fucking failing saving mm-hmm. throws these days. It's true. I mean, yep, that's things, a tough one. Things get real. Can Flamikins, I be hurt if I'm petrified? Uh, you have resistance against a lot of stuff if you're petrified. Nice. Um, so Flamikins. <laughs> As right into the right into the Gorgon's face, Flamikins hurls a bubble of acid, and it must make a dexterity saving throw, which it does not succeed on. And that is a high roll, so that is 6, 12, 17 acid Damn. damage against this Gorgon's wow. face. Yeah. I'm gonna go, Flamikins. Oh, I mixed up Flamikins and Flint. Two FLs in that list. Ah. So f- uh, Flint, you go now. <laughs> Okay, so being as it kind of knocked Flint off to the side, I'm guessing I'm just to the side of it as opposed to in front of it? Yes, so it has charged like five feet past you. Okay, 
Uh, I'm going to go alongside it and kind of swing my axe in an uppercut fashion right where like its front legs meets its upper body just to like just to get in that joint. Yeah, for sure. And that is a 25. That will hit. Come on, big money. 13 damage on that one. And I'll continue attacking it in the same spot. Uh, Let's see, 21. Nope, 22, sorry. Uh, It's another 13. We're consistent on the damage front. And a 20, but not critical. Uh, Yes. Okay. And that's 12 more damage. With, like, down and up swipings, you're working into the joint, and you see, like, cracks begin to form on the front shoulder and creeping down the back of this Gorgon as it is Thaddeus's turn. All right. Everybody make a perception check as well as, as Flint is deciding. Can oh, I perceive no. anything? I didn't think I could. Uh, Thaddeus got a 23, and Flint critically failed. <laughs> Carla got a... Uh, oh, sorry. Carla's not there. New Lara got a 23 as well. Carla's not here, man. Flint's too focused on defeating this, this Gorgon, but the 23s, as, as the dust is settling, you notice a diamond kind of in the middle of where it shot its blast of petrified breath, which he would currently be standing right over top of. So the, the Gorgon is currently standing right over top of a diamond. So the Gorgon is standing over the diamond. Like as mm-hmm. if the diamond is in the floor? Uh, like it's just a diamond that has is placed on the ground. It's not inset in anything. Okay. Oh, I thought Thaddeus had mage hand. Yes, and I was like, doesn't. does he have one of those hand spells? Right. <laughs> where you can grab things? thought that would be very handy, but I'm not seeing it here at Ha-ha! all. Ha-ha! Handy. Ha-ha! Ah. Yes. Uh, Thaddeus is going to touch the stone statue of Thea. And cast resistance on it. So she has uh, an extra d4 to a number rolled on a saving throw of its choice. Ah, oh, thanks. Okay. I'll need it. May I roll two d20s? Because if I think have advantage if you. I if I add them together, I could maybe get. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Oh, and Thaddeus kind of gets out of the way as well. So he can go like back into his right as far as where the gar- Gorgon is or back into the left. Uh, he will go to the left, to the left, back into the left. So kind of just in that doorway there. So he yeah. runs back and down and just out of sight uh, or just, you know, peering around the corner at the action happening. The uh, you get to make a saving throw. Yeah, I do. Do it. Do, do you remember what it, kind of saving throw it is? It. Well, I, I don't care. I rolled a 19. Pl- oh, wow. Is it wow. constitution? It was a constitution. Okay, so 21. So and you can add a d4 effect. to it if you want. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do it. Did it's my 21... To, I'm pretty sure my 21 made it's it. It's up to you. Yeah. The effect, <laughs> the effect <laughs> ends. So you... The stone begins to fall away from your skin, but that is the end of your turn. You see me doing this like when you have like one of those face masks yeah, on and it gets on I know crackly, exactly. And you're making uh, all those faces. Back to the top and that's new Lara. Okay. Well, I'm going to try again. Mm-hmm. That's a 27. So you're rushing back towards the Gorgon to Yeah, attack. I'm going to stab it in the butt. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm behind it. <laughs> right so in the butt. So realistically, I'm going to stab it in the butt. Yeah. Hey, the or butt how about this? Have horns. This sounds better. I'm going to stab it like in the rear flank. Oh. Sure. How about, how about I mean, that? Well, you, uh, you do have all that animal hand, handling but... stuff. So. Just a fancy way to say butt stab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so that's 18 damage. Okay. I'm going to stab it in the butt again. I'm going to stab it in the other side of its butt. Uh, no, maybe I'm not. 16. Does not hit. 16 is not a butt stab. Okay. Not a butt stab. It's a, it's a glance off its... It's a spank. ...stony hide. <laughs> okay. You just spanked it. Uh, Donnie's gonna try and recharge. Didn't mm-hmm. work, so he's gonna try and bite. That is a 23. Yeah. Uh, for six damage. Recharge mm-hmm. attempt. Recharge fail. Bite attempt. 25. 
Yep. Hmm. Uh, and seven damage. Where is beginning to show, and the cracks are beginning to spread throughout this Gorgon as it is its turn, and it rears up and stomps to the ground and releases another petrifying breath which spreads out and encompasses everybody except Thaddeus. Yeah, Thaddeus. Everybody's got to make a constitution saving throw again. Oh god, I'm glad I didn't use that d4. 15. I'm using the d4. 14. 14. I got a 20. Flame McKinn's got a 19. Flint got a 20. Donnie, did Donnie roll? Donnie got a 12. Uh, So as the cloud comes up, you hear a thud, like a stone hitting the ground as Donnie falls to the ground from the brief small height that he was up, and he, too, is petrified. It's not as bad as it looks, Donnie. The Gorgon jumps through the greenery in front and comes back out from the other end down by, uh, on the other side of Thea, and begins charging back towards you, but does not make it as far. Since it was charging past Thaddeus, does he have an opportunity attack? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you an opportunity attack. Yeah! Alright, he's gonna swing his Warhammer at this bad boy. And that is a 22. Yep. And 9 damage. Woo! His hit stops him in his tracks, and he turns and looks at him. And now it is truly Flint's turn. All right. Uh, How far out from Flint is this bad boy now? 30 feet. Flint is going to grab his dwarven thrower and throw that bad boy at this fucking Gorgon. Yeah, ranged weapon. And that is a 17. 17 will not hit. Okay. He's going to do the same thing again. So you throw your hammer and recall it back to you in- instantly. That's right. Only to whip it again. That's right. And this is a nat 20. Is that Ooh, one? Yeah, it is. We haven't wow. had a nat 20 in a long time. Yep. Feels like a while, yeah. So that's 17 plus 5 is 22 damage. Tell me how your hammer destroys this Gorgon. Uh, well, after it missed on the first flyby... It noticed a little weak spot where we've been hitting the Gorgon repeatedly, and there's cracks showing. So as uh, Flynn let it fly again, it strikes true and shatters the Gorgon into a million pieces. Yeah, it does. Thea shakes off the rest of the rock and goes, whoo, dusts herself off. Good job, team. Uh, Yeah, so your hammer strikes true, and the Gorgon explodes and crumbles and begins to mist up into the air. And you have seemingly defeated the Gorgon. He just I don't like the sound of that, attacks. seemingly. <laughs> you have defeated the Gorgon. <laughs> Yay! That's, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say seemingly. Mm-hmm. When the Gorgon's destroyed, does Donnie magically become unpetrified? Negative. Okay. Uh, guys, can somebody do help me out here? Uh, help Thaddeus Donnie out on, here? Thaddeus is going to cast uh, that same spell again. That resistance spell. Um, so d- should he just? R- should I just roll? So for it would him? be Thaddeus's turn. Flamey Kins is like, I can't fucking do shit. The uh, uh no, sorry. Uh, and then it's back to you and Donnie. So yeah, we'd say you'd have to make a a, a Constitution saving throw at the end of his turn. Uh, that is a seventeen. You can add a D four to that if oh, needed, and a D four because why the heck not? That is a 21. You see the stone begin to retreat from Donnie as he stands up. He's like, well, that was a shitty experience. <laughs> yeah, but we went through it together, Donnie. Yeah, high five over here. All right, with my hand claw, which clearly I have. Yeah, the, yeah. weird, right? Didn't we decide weird. that it was like weird baby hands? Yeah. <laughs> and also so. you have a pretty bitchin' hat, so. Right? Well, not mm-hmm. anymore. Now it's just tiny. It's oh, tiny, well, yeah, so that makes it even hand. more bitchin'. That's adorable. It's adorable. Nular, you told me that it was adorable. Is it not adorable? <laughs> no, it's, no, ad- Donnie, it's adorable. You look amazing. Oh, I no, wouldn't I'm lie to you. have a complex. No, I gotta hang out with you all the time. I wouldn't want you to look like an idiot. Shit, all right, where are we? <laughs> We're in a maze, Donnie. Uh, I think the stone is out Same place we've been forever. Somebody, yeah. Somebody ought to uh, pick up that diamond. You look back to the diamond and it is gone. Motherfucker. Well, how about Thea turns to her right and says, how about we go this way? You guys, do you, do you go as a group? Do you split up? What are you doing? 
Well, traditionally, Friends. we love splitting the party, so... Oh, we okay. never split up. Yeah. You kind of follow each other around throughout this uh, throughout this maze. About a minute passes as you're trying to find some sort of exit, and you seem to be just kind of looping around, not really getting anywhere. Um, and you hear the beating of hooves. And charging out from in front of you, Thea, the Gorgon returns. <laughs> Releasing his breath directly down towards you. So Thea and Flint need to make a constitution saving throw. I get stuck and I don't get to fight this Gorgon again. (laughs) That's an 18. Oh, yeah, that's an 18 without any added. Uh, So you're fine, but you get a gore attack there, Thea, for a 19. So that's going to be 20 piercing damage. Ow. Yeah. (laughs) And you must make a strength saving throw as you are thrown about. 13. And you are knocked prone. Ah. And as a bonus action, the Gorgon stomps on you with his hooves. Holy shit. For a 17. That will hit me. For another 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Damn. So... He is currently on top of you, and we'll continue in initiative order. So, I guess we'll go back to the top there. Nulara, you and Donnie are up. Did he drop a diamond when he released his breath weapon? Yes, you see down in the mist a crystallizing diamond form as he is stomping on your friend. Okay, I hope my friend starts crawling towards that. She's really tough. She'll be fine. (laughs) <laughs> in spirit. Yeah. She's tough in spirit. Her body is well, that's weak strong. and brittle. <laughs> <laughs> She's very willowy and slender. Uh, okay, I am going to, uh, you know, try and stab. Stab the guy. That is a 20. 19 damage. Yeah. I'm going to do it again, because I got again. a 22. Mm-hmm. It's 22 damage. <gasps> Uh, Donnie's gonna try and recharge. Hey, it worked, guys! Guys, Woo. it worked! It worked. So, Huzzah. he, uh, is going to... Well, God, can he even do that? Where is everybody here? Uh, Thea is directly underneath the Gorgon. So if he but, like, she's, up a she's, little... She's, she's all flat on the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm so flat on the ground. So prone. <laughs> I'm trying to be very, like, unassuming and... Yeah, just yeah. melting into the ground. And prone. Yeah. So maybe he'll stop stomping on me if I pretend I'm not there, like sinking into the grass. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that now that Donnie has recharged, he's mm-hmm. not going to shoot fire when <laughs> he is right there. Seems like a bad idea. So he'll 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 do a he'll do a bite move, which is a 19. Okay. For seven damage. And then he will do that again. Uh, but that is only a 14, so that's probably a big ol' nothing. 14 doesn't hit, so Donnie leaps almost on top of and begins biting at the Gorgon as it begins attempting to buck him off. And Flint, what's the what's the deal with this diamond, Russ? Is it directly below the Gorgon? What's the, what's the situation here? Yeah, it looks like it formed, like it started its its breath, kind of as it came out of the the greenery, so it's Kind of just behind where the Gorgon is right now. And since the Gorgon is all, like, distracted from stomping on Thea, would I be able to make some sort of acrobatic, like, run and jump uh, kind of off to the side and maybe go grab this diamond? If you roll for it. Well, I suppose I could roll for it. This is D&D after all. Hey, Nat 20 again. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Oh, the sweetest of flips occur. Yeah, so I do, like, some parkour moves using, like, the hedge, the side of the hedge, and, like, run up the hedge, kind of crouching tiger style, and uh, jump in behind and grab this diamond. Okay. As you pick up the diamond, Thea and Flint make a perception roll. Thea at disadvantage, because you've got a gork on and stomping on top of you. As a 16 for <laughs> Flint. 14. I rolled a 15 and a 14. Plus an 8. Right, plus eight. Twenty two. You've been adding your modifiers? Yes, I have. Okay. Just not right now. <laughs> I mean, have you? <laughs> uh, so Flint, as you pick this up, uh you and Thea hear greenery like moving. Um and you see down the corridor behind you 
uh, a doorway open up about 30 feet down the next aisle that you were right beside there. Do I alert everyone? Can everyone else see this? Is it just something that we can see? What's uh, happening it's, here? Uh, it's just that something that you two have seen. Uh, everybody else is kind of out of eye shot of where they would be able to see it. Uh, do, should we like attack this thing or like disengage and run for it? What's what's the group consensus here? Run, Flint! <laughs> but you're kind of trapped under this. <laughs> I'll army crawl my way out. It'll be okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to abandon everyone. Carla, any thoughts? It's in the moment, man. Time's ticking. <gasps> uh, Turn's going to be over in five, four, yell something. three, uh, I'm going to attack the Gorgon. Okay. Stab it in the butt. You're behind it, right? I am behind it. Going to pull a real Carla butt stab here. Yep. No, Carla's <laughs> not there. It's new Lara. Yeah, but it was Carla who wanted to do the butt stab. <laughs> uh, that's a 25 on the first attack. Yes, sir. Uh, so that's 14 damage. Okay. We'll give a second attack. Uh, and that's a 21 on the second attack. Yes, sir. Ooh, that's only 10 damage. Swiping your axe into its butt. Uh, you begin to... <laughs> <laughs> create, butt job. Create new butt cracks as it becomes uh, Thea's turn. Oh god, is this does this thing have me pinned with its big no, fat you're not, fucking hoops? You're not pinned, you are prone though. Alright. While I'm prone, can I cast a spell? Mm-hmm. Well I'm gonna wild shape. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna wild shape into a winter wolf. Boom! <laughs> Look at me with all my hit points. I yell, guys, a door. Yes, winter wolves can speak common. We've already basic. been over it. It's, it's just been so long since she wild shaped. Over it. These are for the it has been, yeah, it oh, has okay. been. And, you know, for any new listeners. Sure. So, yes, they do speak basic common. And I say, guys, a door. And I disengage. Flame McKenzie yells, a window. It's not from, a riddle, From is the it? window. To the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweat drips from my. Uh... Yep. Finish, finish okay, the lyric, right, Russ. Right, Seems like right, it would be a song Flame McKenzie would be into. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Be. Yep. Um, Facebook.com slash dumb dragon cast group. I don't know what the fuck it is. Go put that song in there now. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the Beyonce <laughs> to the left. Oh, yeah. Left. Yeah. yeah. I've had a couple in this one. Uh, so I, I yell to them that there's a door and I, I want to disengage and yep. dash to the door. Okay. You are. I'm going to D&D. Disengage and dash. That's right. Mm hmm. Yeah. So how far are you going? Are like you well, going? I can move fifty feet. Okay, I'm gonna go right to the fucking door. Okay, and just wait, cause guys, I'm like, I'm hurting real bad. I want nothing to do okay. with yep. any more fighting. That's fine. Um, now with this bullshit, right? Ah. Ah. Kins comes around the corner and she's like, "What's going on? Oh shit!" And then Flamekins casts Dimension Door. Ooh, what's that? She teleports herself from her current location to another spot within range. And she arrives at exactly the spot desired. So she's going to Dimension Door herself. <laughs> right over. Oh, that's the Gorgon. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> she sends the Gorgon Ooh. over to the end. <laughs> why, Flamekins? <laughs> why? Uh, Flamekin's dimension this. doors right over to the door, and then it's Thaddeus's turn. Thea starts like big time, like what the? Where? Did, what? She's like, Poof. She comes in like almost at a run. Like, hey! I like snarl like. Arr! These squares oh, on your map are roughly ten by ten. Exactly ten by ten. I think if Thaddeus like hugs the fucking uh, the shrub wall and dashes over there, he can just zip right on over to that door. Like, you guys have been walking around the maze, so you kind of have a feeling that um, where Thea and Flamikins is, he could get to from the other side, but just based on your travels through. So he could dash and get to Thea without even passing the Gorgon. Okay, he will do that then. Yeah. So Wait, maybe Thaddeus... he should, like... Yeah, no, he'll do that. That's fine. Yeah, so Thaddeus uh, turns and heads back down a pathway that you guys have kind of researched... And heads back to the group over there. And then it is the Gorgon's turn. Boo. Um, no one likes you. Go <laughs> home. And as the Gorgon kind of sees all the commotion of everybody running away and moving, 
Uh, Flint, you look down in your hand and the diamond begins to disappear. And as the diamond disappears, so does the door. Son of a bitch. And the Gorgon releases another breath out in your direction, Flint, and down and banks around the corner to where uh, Flamykin's Thea and Thaddeus are, and you all need to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> so ah, it. Seven. Okay, it probably doesn't hit Thaddeus, but... Thaddeus is just out of range for all these things. Yeah, I he's know. lucky. It's pretty good. Uh, that's a 17 for Flint. Oh, Flamykin's doesn't do well either. So Flamykin's and Thea are now petrified. And Flint, you see at the base of uh, where the Gorgon is... Uh, about 10 feet away, a new diamond forming in place. And just for good measure, the Gorgon charges you with a <laughs> Of course, yeah. Oh, it doesn't do well, though. That's a 14. Oh, hooray. Yeah. Uh, Nulara, you're up. So whereabouts is that diamond? It is about 10 feet in front of the Gorgon. So on the opposite side of where you are currently located, it turned and faced towards Flint and the rest of the group. So I have to stab it in the butt again. <laughs> wow. Why is it always behind? It's, I'm not like, I'm not really into butt stabbing all of a sudden. It just is always facing away from me. <laughs> or maybe I but always have been. I was going to say, I mean, everybody's got secret character motivations, right? This is like an M. Night Shyamalan level twist here. <laughs> yeah, it's my yeah. twist. Butt stabs. Uh, okay, so let's go for the old butt stab. That is a 25. Yeah, that's a solid butt stab. And that is eight. That is twenty-four damage. Whoa! That is mm-hmm. almost the most I could get. I'm gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. That was a twelve. Well, like you needed to. You just nailed. You just gave more damage <laughs> yeah. in that one roll than I have since we started recording this episode. <laughs> because it, it was zero. I've given zero damage. <laughs> okay. How far? Okay, is is our are our map positions right now accurate? Uh, as far as I've been trying to keep up with them, so yeah, they should be fairly accurate. Have you determined in canon that breath weapons go through shrubberies? Because I feel like you have. Didn't that just happen with the Gorgon? Well, it went through like the doorway in front of it and banked around, like it hit the wall and kept going. Well, I noticed that it's. Bleeding butt is kind of sticking behind that. Oh well, hedge. that's because I can't put it anywhere else. <laughs> like it, just where the oh, thing. Fine. That's okay. I think Donnie's gonna. Sure, its butt gonna is flame. hanging out. No, it's yeah. fine. I, I mean, it's a, it's a fire weapon, so fire can go through trees. Trust me, as we have all learned in British Columbia. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the last light, light little while. Shut up. Yeah. Fire, yeah. fire can go through trees. So yep. he is going to. Do his fire weapon, which means ye old Gorgon needs to uh, do a dex save. Uh, it's not going to be good. It's going it's, it's it's to be, be amazing. It's going to be a seven. It's going to be a oh. seven. Perfect. Save. It's, it's, it doesn't see it coming. It just goes straight up its butthole. Oh, je- <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Did Donnie uh, put his lips to it? Like, how is this happening? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. No. What do with the visual? Not the butthole. It's too far, Russ. Did you hear how many dice that was? It was a lot of dice. It's the only time I get to roll dice. a lot of dice. It's 22 damage. So, canonically, he's blown this fire up his butthole. <laughs> no. And cooks him from the inside out. <laughs> and bursts in a cloud of stony dust vapor and as he does those watching the diamond it does the same thing and dissolves into the ground so we're going to go through and make some saving throws at this point uh it would be f- uh, flint's turn next if there's anything you want to do flint uh Thea will i be after. go and cheer real loud for thea's saving throw that she's going to make all right make a constitution saving throw thea Nat 20. Whoa. The stone I have to begins, whisper to my dice. The stone right? begins to fall away and you are back the same. Flamykins, however, did not fare so well. And as the stone falls away, you're kind of just watching Flamykins 
hoping the same happens, but nothing does happen. Hey there! I'm your Dungeon Master, Russ Moore. Thanks for joining us for episode 53 of Dungeons & Dragons. It's all about that butt! Only a couple weeks left in our Dumb Dragon Fart Fan Art Contest, and we want you to win one of two limited edition custom t-shirts from Pop Culture Wars with an amazing design by Matt Garbutt. All you gotta do is submit a piece of Dungeons & Dragons fan art to social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, using the hashtag Dumb Dragon Fart. Just do what you feel is right, and take a look at that sweet design at dumbdragons.com slash contests so you know what you're gunning for. Now let's chat about Pop Culture Wars for a minute here. They're an emerging store run by a great group of people whose passion is providing awesome gear to help bring you closer to your heroes with a range of creative, hilarious designs and custom apparel system that lets you put what you want on a shirt, hoodie, or tank top Pop Culture Wars has it for you. Not only that, but they've got all the latest news on your favorite shows, movies, and pop culture content. That's Pop Culture Wars with a Z or a Z. Really, they've got everything you could ever need condensed into one lovely website. Check them out at popculturewars.com where you can find all the deals and all of their socials to follow along with the best in pop culture. Because life is always better with pop culture. And of course, Dungeons & Dragons listeners can save 10% off your next order by entering the discount code DUMBDRAGON at checkout. That paired with their free international shipping to the US, UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Really, how could you go wrong? Plus, they got that afterpay thing. That's a good thing, right? As mentioned off the top, if you enjoy what we do and can support us in a monetary for perks and rewards fashion, visit us on Patreon, where we have many different tiers and rewards to give you access to amazing bonus content. Patrons have access to tons of cool stuff like monthly bonus episodes, character sheets, naming of NPCs, and much much more. Right now, patrons can go on and fill out a survey to let us know what they currently like and would like to see more of in the Patreon community so we can help mold it and make it the best that we can for the people who are taking advantage of it. So, if you're a patron, go fill that out, and if you sign up to be a new patron, you can fill that out too. Check out all the details at patreon.com slash dumbdragoncast. Another way you can support the show is to share a link to your favorite episode or just the show in general to social media. Talk about us to your friends and family or write a review on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever else you can rate or review uh, podcasts. Every little bit helps get us out in front of all those people who hopefully will love the show as much as you and we do. All of our social media links and more about us and the show can be found at dumbdragons.com. So go check out the website and join, follow, or like where you can today. And thanks to Sirenscape for some of the amazing atmosphere in this episode. Make sure you check them out at sirenscape.com to bring your games to life. Links for everything mentioned today can be found in the description, and the next episode will be out Wednesday, September 19th, when maybe, just maybe, the adventurers will be able to get out of this darned maze. Maybe, I make no promises, but maybe. But let's jump back into the action and see if they can figure out this diamond riddle. Diamonds can be pricey, though, so you know it might be tough. Have a great week. We'll talk soon. That is kind of gives the old like chin, like thinks about it for a second. He says, I might. Uh, Russ does the voice for this guy, but he sounds like an old man. He says, uh, I might have something for this. And he digs around in his spell component pouch and he opens up a couple different containers and he can't quite find what he's looking for. And finally, he finds the container with the ruby dust in it. And he puts a little bit in his palm and just blows the, the ruby dust over the, the statue form of Flamikins and says, heal thyself. <laughs> <laughs> He's casting greater restoration. Uh, the ruby dust sprinkles down over top of Flamikins and she, she was like standing with her face in like a, a weird kind of yep. motif. Seems pretty normal for her. And uh, as the stone falls away, she's like, okay, we're back. Are we out yet? Uh, nope, not yet, guys. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta game plan this. It seems like we only have a limited time with the uh, open exit and the diamond. So, uh, I think next time we gotta have people like make a break for the exit right away, and then we gotta get lucky with some, some, some acrobatic type of stuff and get that diamond and go. Agreed. How's everybody feeling? I've been better, but I'm okay. You're still in wolf form, right? I am. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's good, because that will be more uh, acrobatic than... I assume everybody's 
gone over yeah, to where faster. the stone f- stone features were, thereabouts. Oh yeah, if everyone was yeah. like, Arr. As you guys Just are like game that. planning, you begin to hear the sound of hooves again. So this is your time, so if you're doing anything in particular... Okay, you guys, as soon as you see the diamond, one of us will grab it. Once that stone door opens up and makes itself known... We just need to hightail it there. Get it? Hightail it there? I swish my tail. I uh, I mean, agreed. I think whoever grabs it, run to the door and try to open the door. Maybe the door will stay open once it's open. As you finish discussing this, out of the greenery right behind Flint, I you thought- hear the charging hooves of the Gorgon as he runs towards and blasts its petrifying breath out. And down towards Flint, Thaddeus, and Thea. God, I had to be in the fucking corner. Please. Oh, Nobody puts on. baby in the corner. Eleven. Uh, Thaddeus got a sixteen, and Flint got a fifteen. And I say, not again, <sighs> mother. And then, as I turn ha. to stone, Thea turns to stone again. And Flint and Thaddeus are fine, except for the charging trample that Flint receives. Uh, That's a natural 20. Damn. 35 piercing (gasps) damage, and you must make a strength saving throw. Fuck. So that's 32 damage. (laughs) Let me just subtract three from that. Small victories. Oh, boy. Okay, that's that's a lot of damage. And a strength throw? You bet. That is a 15. That doesn't make it. You are knocked that prone. That makes no. And as a bonus action, it tries to trample you with its hooves. Wait a minute. Run. Wait a minute. Wait one goddamn minute. Waiting. Waiting. I am going to use my indomitable skill and re-roll a saving throw that I fail. 17. Woo! That makes it, so you are not prone. Yay! And it doesn't trample you with its hooves. Even Yeah, better. that doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. It did not look that. fun when you were doing it, so. Nope. Uh, Nulara, you were up. Did it drop a diamond? Did it drop a diamond? Uh, you were around the corner No, but it did take a big shit, right? So unless right you right move around the corner, you may not be able to see. If only someone else who could see asked. Regardless. <laughs> <laughs> um, right? Do you remember the plan? <laughs> I am going to. I was busy uh, saving. No, things. you were. I know you were rolling around and like not getting stomped on. It was amazing. I assume I couldn't see. I'm gonna come around the corner though, yep. and uh, you know, I guess try and stab it in the front this time, which seems seems crazy, but well, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Uh, it's a twenty-five. That will hit. So you push your way through. And uh, make it in front, not on the hedges, but you're like, yeah, you're beside Flint, not standing she on top of him. She can stab it in the front and the back. Yeah. <laughs> so that is 24 damage. Okay. I'm going to try and stab it again, mm-hmm. but I failed because I rolled a nine. That will not hit. Okay. Donnie's going to try and recharge. Didn't work. He wasn't going to use it anyway because all of his friends are in the way this yeah. time. But he's going to try to bite. He he fails. He's going to try again. And he probably succeeds because that's a 24. Uh, yeah. yeah. 11 damage. Mm-hmm. Hey, and now do I see a diamond? You sure do. Right at, um, like, pretty much right at your feet. Within five feet of where you are. Great. I'm super going to grab it. You grab it, and right behind you, in the same spot that it was before, right behind where you, the main group of you is... Okay. Pretty uh, much where I'm frozen. Yeah, no, don't eat... You, you know, oh, there's a lot of people in here. I know. We're all up there. It's clustered. Up yeah, there. you're there. You're there. You're there. There's a Gorgon here. Sure, you're in that vicinity, but right where Thea is, okay. the hedges move away, and an exit forms. Flint. Should I go try and open the door, guys? <laughs> You're it's, prone. It's, it's an oh, open, no, you're not. Like, Never it's mind. an open no, maze we've been pathway. over this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh it's not Are you right beside me? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, right beside you. Right can beside I just you. hand it to you? I mean, I guess. Can I? Because sure. I can't, I just, I can't, can't I just move steal anymore. it from her hand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like we should all go at once, but I will go. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage. I don't even think I've been fighting this thing, but I'm gonna disengage. Yeah. Well, you're, and I'm you're gonna, within range, so yeah. I'm gonna book it over to that opening with my diamond in my hand. Oh sure. He's stealing the diamond. So you're gonna stand like <laughs> right in the entryway, like it's an open, like essentially it's just another pathway down a maze. Yeah, but essentially I'm going there. to stand in the way as if there was a door there that might try to close and I'm at the supermarket and it's not going to be able to close because I'm in the sensor. <laughs> I like it. Uh, anything else you're doing before we go to the next person? Uh, I tell everyone to get the fuck over here. <laughs> the, How does that sound? Like yeah. in character and whatnot, Tom? Uh, it's really I'm just running and grumbling. So it's like, <laughs> and then I'm over at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been with him long enough to know. What you guys got means. the gist of it. We got Clearly it. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, Thea, your turn. 19. So the stone falls away from you and that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Um, but you are right beside the, uh, the does entrance. Does Flamekin's that... not going to turn? Yeah, she does. It's her turn next. Oh, okay. Flamekin's um, hurls something. Just vomit. I was just gonna say. <laughs> Did she just hurl? <gasps> she literally just hurls. <laughs> Does she have a nervous tummy when she fights? Rough night, guys. Rough night. Uh, that's gonna be five feet away from me. So I'm just gonna go stand with you, Flint, and see what happens. Okay. Can you can you drag Thea over here with you? I pull her. Does she By move? what? Her hair. She moves, but she growls. Oh, yeah, she's a wolf. Mm. Thaddeus' turn. Yeah, he's just going to back away and go for the fucking door while the sure. pathway that's open. Yeah, so he backs away and continues to go for the door. Everybody is standing roughly in the doorway. As it becomes the Gorgon's turn, and where before, as it readied its petrifying breath, the old diamond would disappear. Flint, you look at it now, standing within this newly created maze exit. The diamond remains present. But the Gorgon still gets a turn and tries to gore uh, Nulara. Uh, why did I roll your dice? Fuck. Oh, boo. Oh, <laughs> it was bad, guys. So it was 15, a seven. 15 to hit. Okay, doesn't hit. And then it's Nulara's turn. I can use, well, I probably don't even need to use this. Can I just, like, run away? <laughs> yep, you can disengage and run. <laughs> okay, that's what I am going to do. Donnie's going to come with me. All right, so both of you uh, disengage and run towards the group that is standing in the exit. Ah. Um, and as you continue down the path, you turn and see that the Gorgon stops at the passageway that is created and kind of steps back. And tips his hat, because he was wearing a hat <laughs> that we didn't say. Um, exhales a giant green plume and turns and exits into the hedges beside it. And you guys run back down this maze that is created. And after a short while, you enter back into the sundial room where the shadows are pointed still at A through H. I see why sundials are no longer in favor. I mean, sorry about your cat, but um, it's got I don't know dark in a hurry. I, yeah, I no. wish you hey. hadn't said that. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I think you should probably cut that part out. I Someone's going to be like, out. how did you know my cat died? Oh, and then, no, it'll be and so then we don't need dead cat stuff happening. No, well, maybe much. it's something more innocent, like they had to switch the cat from wet food to dry food. And, they're, oh, and yeah. we're just sorry about it. Yeah, because the cat's not happy about yeah. it. That's however, what it is. However, they're probably happy because wet cat food smells disgusting. Oh yeah, it does yes. not smell good. Confirmed. It doesn't smell good. Not yeah. just not just you doing them over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> just kinda like kinda how we do this joke Trust. over and over and over again. Yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. I know. Apologies. It's been, it's been a while. We'll brainstorm it's been a while. better yeah. jokes. No, we won't. No. We, we won't. won't brainstorm better jokes. Not a chance. We'll That's stumble upon one and then hold on to it forever. Forever. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh but at the end of the last episode, when we dropped the stones on the the sundial and they felt I got so mad and then just stopped paying attention to what happened after that episode. When we pulled up the roll 20 map and I saw the thing on it, I was like, oh, yeah, something else did happen after that. <laughs> but I was just like seeing red. <laughs> I could not handle it. 
Is it kind of like throwing a book and asking a question and getting no answer back? It's exactly like, <laughs> like that. Like losing your book entirely and getting nothing for it. Where you're mm-hmm. like, where are my fucking stones? Mm-hmm. I was going to make a dope ass bracelet out of those. I mean, you still have them because things happened because after we that. Went, defense. we went in there. We followed those stones. Gorgon charges out. Char- charges. Charges. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgon it charges. charges right at you. Uh, yeah, so... A Gorgon is like that. Oh. Sorry, what That's sound does it make? That page, that page was moving so fast there, it was hard to see what well, it I actually I didn't want you was. to see the stats. I didn't want you to see the stats. Um, yep, that's how that works. Okay. I think you should know so, by now, Russ, even if we were staring at the stat page, it would not help us. No. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it honestly really didn't even occur to me to try to look at the stats. <laughs> oh, that's, no. Like, <laughs> it also takes the fun out of it. I'd like to say that's how honest I am, but it just didn't occur to me. <laughs> I'm just not smart enough to exactly. be I may be sneaky. just kind of a dum-dum. <laughs> if I die this round, does that mean I don't have to play the rest you of this won't, game? Won't <laughs> um, okay, I guess... Uh, that's a good time for their Skype to freeze. Oh, we froze. Oh, no. Amy looks totally. like she's like playing the piano. I know. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys are back. Hey, you're back. Hey. You froze in a comedic way. Yeah. It was the yeah, dog. Amy, you were the like dog unplugged their internet. Oh. Oh. I'll do it. Oh, I gooned up the order <laughs> again. <laughs> Fuck. Why do we have two FLs and two THs? Shit. Um, because yeah. you let people name characters on Patreon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, and they're okay, great, so by the way. That wasn't a dig. I really, no, yeah. really like them. Also, is Thea up. is only four letters, so you do not have to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be lazy. For the when it began its turn, the diamond began to f- d- dust away, but... Fuck. <laughs> she keeps bringing me toys. She's brought me... I understand. She's brought me this. And there's a pink ball under here that she's making a lot of noise with. Oh, Paisley, you little stinker. She's... <laughs> Uh, okay, we just need to wrap up this episode here. Holy so shit. the diamond doesn't disappear is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And we'll say better in post. 